Hello champions, welcome back. We are going through with our journey how to set up the Spark environment for Windows machine. And in that particular direction, we have taken two steps and those were like Java installation and setting up its environment variable and second was Python installation and setting up its environment variable. So these two steps has been taken in today's session, we are going to focus on downloading the Spark and setting up its environment variable. That is the point number three. And downloading WinUtils files and proceed with this environment variable setting. So without wasting any time, let's proceed further and do the Spark installation for Windows machine. So in order to download Spark, what you need to do, you need to visit this particular thread and choose a particular Spark version which you want to have on your machine. Let me click over here. Once I click over that particular thread, then this particular window will open. Over here, I can choose the Spark version. Different sub Spark versions are available. Spark release are available. So let me move with the latest one and latest one is Spark 3.4.0. And it is built onto the package type that is Spark uh, Hadoop 3.3. .3. So let me click to download. And once I click to download, then downloading will be started. It will ask the path where I need to have this particular uh, file. So let me download it inside the software. Okay, software and click on. So the downloading has been started. It will take some time and once the file is downloaded then I will be able to see it inside the path where which I have mentioned while downloading now this particular file is available this is in zip format what I need to do I need to unzip it huh? so I'm going to extract it and So the spark has been downloaded in our machine what i need to do i need to proceed for the environment variable setting this is the path where spark is available let me copy this particular path and type environment and click on to the edit the environment variable go into the environment variables and over here i need to Define the environment variable inside the system variable bucket. Huh? So let me click new and give the environment variable name Spark home. And I need to provide the path where the Spark has been downloaded. So let me click on OK. And I need to mention these particular thing inside the path as well let me click okay over here we are able to see spark home and the bin directory path bin folder path is already mentioned so there is no need to uh, define it if this is not available then you need to define it because we need to refer the path for bin directory or bin folder and that's why I like this environment variable setting has been done click ok and you can come out click on ok ok so the spark has been downloaded in our machine now what I need to do I need to proceed for win utils download friends we know it very well that spark is not having its own uh, file system it is depending on to the other file system for its operations. So 
for an example SDFS. Now, in order to uh, have the communication between Spark and Windows, we need to have a utility that is called WinUtils file. So we need to proceed for downloading that particular file and we need to set up the environment variable. How we will be able to do this? Let's proceed. So I have given two thread over here where the WinUtils files are available. You just need to check both of these uh, two particular threads and wherever you are able to get the WinUtils file with respect to your Hadoop version, you just need to download that particular file. That is the exe file basically and you need to download it say Windows 30, 64 bit. Huh? So uh, my window is of 64 bit that's why like I will proceed for downloading WinUtils for Windows for 64 bit. So let me click on to this particular thread and it will open the link the github uh, you can say browse uh, github website will be open and you will be able to see different versions of hadoop over here hadoop 2.6.5 zena and hadoop 3.3.1 so what we have seen once we were downloading we were having hadoop 3 so with respect to the Hadoop 3, we can download that is 3.3 uh, basically. Yeah. Let me. So over here, if you are able to see Hadoop 3.3 uh, version is there on to top of that, like Spark has been built. So we need to download the WinUtils for that particular version. So let me click over here. That is Hadoop 3.3.0. Uh, and over here, like added Hadoop 3.3.0 when utils binary. Let me click over here, and we are able to see say when utils.exe that is the file. Let me click on it and proceed to download. So, what you need to do, you need to create a folder named Hadoop and there you need to place this particular win, uh, util file so let me take, create a folder name hadoop and inside this particular folder i'm going to create another folder named win and over here i'm going to place this particular win util file and in the same fashion you need to proceed so let me copy this particular path and I just need to proceed for the environment variable setting. Let me open the environment variable, edit environment variables, environment variables, and then I need to define Hadoop home over here. Huh? Hadoop underscore home. And I need to give the path for that particular. directory or folder where I have placed the WinUtils file. Let me click OK. OK, it has been done and same I am going to update inside the path. So let me click over here new percentage Hadoop home. underscore home percentage then bin okay perfect huh? let me click ok bingo now the win utils environment variable settings and its downloading spark downloading and its envir environment variable setting both of these two things are completed at this point of time, what we need to do, we need to proceed for the verification of installation. Whatever we had the, we have done, is it correct or not? So let's proceed towards the verification of installation. And for that, what I need to do, I need to open the command prompt. CMD and I need to type PySpark over here. 
So friends, if you want to do the coding inside PySpark or if you are going to leverage Python API from the Spark side, then you can check the installation by typing PySpark. And yes, the Spark 3.4.0 version is available. And that's what we have installed. If you want to code inside Scala, so you just need to type spark hyphen shell okay so over here you will be able to see scala api and you will be able to write down the code inside scala language just have a look onto that as well Okay, so the Scala prompt is available and you will be able to write code in Scala. So friends, that's it for this particular session. In the next session, we will be going through with the ID installation and we will be going through with two ID installations. That is PyCharm ID and VS Code ID. Thank you friends.